Banks and financial institutions maintain buffers to protect themselves against future credit losses. It is common to divide these losses in expected and unexpected losses. The unexpected losses are, by their nature, impossible to calculate. Capital buffering for these losses is the theme for another video. For now, we focus on the expected losses. The Basel Accords provide guidelines how to calculate the expected losses. Often, we use the EL acronym to refer to expected losses, and UL to denote unexpected losses. We calculate the expected losses to estimate the buffer capital needed. The bank should have at least a cushion that matches these anticipated losses. We call this cushion the loan loss provisions or reserves. Provisions are a liability and we will find them on the right-hand side of the balance sheet. A provision is money you set aside for uncertain future expenses. You already anticipate these expenses now. The calculation is straightforward and simple. It is based on three elements. The exposure at default or EAD. The probability of default or PD. And the loss given default or LGD. The EAD is the amount outstanding. If possible, the bank should make a correction for the amount it will lose whenever a default occurs. This might be different from the actual exposure. Obligers in financial difficulty tend to draw down a credit line to the max. For our expected losses calculation, we should consider this worst case scenario. The PD is the likelihood that an obligor will default on his obligations to the bank. It is expressed in a percentage. The probability of default has a one-year horizon. The loss given default or LGD is the part of credit the bank will lose in case of a default. Often, the bank can recover part of the losses by seizing assets or through guarantees. Say, the bank clawed back 60% of the loan amount, then the loss given default is 40%. The 60% we call the recovery rate. LGD and recovery add up to 1. Also, the LGD has a 1-year horizon. Bankers might wonder where to get those PD and LGD numbers. The answer lies in the bank's historical data. Other sources include rating agencies and other partner banks operating in the same market. With all the elements in place we can calculate the expected losses. For each of the loans outstanding we calculate the EL using the following formula. The sum of the ELS in of the loan portfolio equals the total expected losses. Let's look at a simple Excel example. We have three loans A, B, and C. The model shows that for a portfolio of 5,000 we expect to lose 40. This means that the bank should maintain loan loss reserves equal to this amount. No bank in their right mind would just buffer for these expected losses. We do understand that the loan loss reserves are an average expected value. The assumptions for PD and LGD levels will vary, and with them the actual losses. The bank will also keep a buffer for these unexpected losses. This is on top of the loan loss provisioning. This is the subject for another video.